anyone know anybody in the state of Michigan that likes our roads? Mm -hmm. right. I haven't found them yet, and I've traveled every corner of Michigan. And it says something. We need to do something about our roads. It's a major problem. The last time we had an increase was 1997. Um, we're going backwards, folks, in terms of investing in our infrastructure. The way I view it is not just about paying more, it's about investing more. It's going to cost us a lot more money if we don't make appropriate investments in terms of increasing the amount of revenue that goes into our infrastructure. It needs to happen. What are some of the simple reasons why? Well, first of all, think about how many people you know either had a blown tire or a bent rim this last year. Yeah. <laughs> Son, that was off your vehicle. <laughs> Far too many people had that problem. And if you think about it, that's hundreds of dollars quite often in terms of expense. And you compare it to what we'd get by having better roads, it's an easy decision that you'd much rather have a good road rather than putting money into something like this. On average, people in Michigan spend about $130 more than the surrounding states for vehicle damage due to roads. That's a lot of money, and that would offset most of the cost of what we're talking about. And it's not just our roads ourselves, it's our bridges. One in nine bridges in our state are structurally deficient. These examples here, these are not here simply to hold down the tablecloth that we have. These are pieces of bridge that have fallen off. Just a week ago, we did a session in Southfield at Lawrence Tech, and Professor Grace there told the story of one of his colleagues, another professor that was underneath a bridge doing some sensor monitoring. And a chunk of concrete fell off the bridge and missed her by about six inches. Think about what this would do to a person or to a vehicle falling off if your vehicle is going at a high rate of speed. So you know what our solution is for these chunks of concrete? It's this very high-tech device here. It's called plywood. So. Mayor, I would use your analogy about Band-Aids. Um, a Band-Aid for a person, aid, this is the Band-Aid for our bridges. That when you drive across Michigan and you look up and see plywood, think of it as a Band-Aid because all it's doing there is to keep those chunks of concrete from falling on your vehicle. That is not a good answer, folks. So the real challenge here is, is we're asking for a tax increase, to be blunt. And we need to do this not at the expense of other resources in our state. And it's hard to get a tax increase out of legislators. Let's be open about that. So what I need you to do is contact your legislator. Not to yell at them, not to get mad at them, but to give them positive reinforcement to say it's OK to increase revenue. And the place I would send you is we've got a website, justfixtheroads.com. So I encourage the media to push that web address out, but each one of you to contact all your organizations to go justfixtheroads.com. There's an online petition. There's a mechanism there to contact your legislator. Um, and we need you to give positive reinforcement to them to say, let's do something. Time is limited. Let's give us all a great holiday present here by getting a solution put in place for roads because it isn't getting better, folks, until we get something done. So that's why I call for all of us to step up, understand this isn't about spending money. This is about investing resources to make us safer, to create more jobs, and a better environment for all of Michigan.